Hey guys, it's Nick from Nintendo Dads. I'm back with another review for you. This time we are reviewing Tied Together. Tied Together is published by Head Up Games right there and developed by Napalm Tree Studios. We want to give both of them a big thanks for giving us a code so that we could get you fine folks a review. So tell me, what do you get when you tie two good friends or family members together? Well, you get enemies. That's what you get. You just get enemies. And I'm about to show you why. So in Tied Together, uh, you puzzle and platform your way through 40 levels, most of them fairly short. But that doesn't mean that they're easy. You will find many of them to be quite difficult, especially on your first playthrough. You do all this as little monsters who were created by scientists who made these platforms to experiment on how well you cooperate together. That is the background story. No, really, it is. Uh, with that said, you have to have another human to be tied together too. So this is a couch co-op game. It may not feel like co-op at times, but the main point to get out of here is you cannot play this game single player. If you don't have any friends, well, go find a new game. So the game controls in Tied Together are fairly simple. You use the D-pad to move back and forth on the screen, the B button makes you jump, and the A button makes you punch. The A button, the punch, is pretty integral to the game of Tied Together for two main reasons. One, your friend's gonna piss you off quite a bit through these 40 levels, so it's nice to be able to punch them every once in a while. And two, if your friend or you gets hurt, you get knocked unconscious, and the only way to gain consciousness is to get punched in the face, which, to be honest, is pretty satisfying because you're probably going to want to punch him or he's going to want to punch you. So though Tied Together's game controls might be simple and the objective isn't really that difficult either, find a couple of keys, then find their locks, then find a big green button, what makes this game challenging, and there is quite a bit of challenge through these levels, is one, the game design, coupled with some crazy obstacles. As you can see here, spikes, I know you've seen lava, um, they add wind and balloons to make life even more difficult. And all those things really add to the strategy that you need to incorporate into your playthrough of these levels. With that said, being tied together obviously makes things much more difficult. Uh, but along with the tied together is the physics of this game. They have done a really good job to program a physics where you can feel the tug and pull of your friends on this rope. If somebody wants to go an opposite way, you can feel that. All of a sudden, you're not moving like you should, and you can, it just, it's just very noticeable, and they've done a good job to program that. So a couple things I wanted to touch on that I had forgotten about. Um, if you press the X button, uh, it will allow you to dig in the ground. This allows you to avoid or stay away from many of the traps in the, in the obstacles. This is a good piece of strategy that they have added to help you traverse these levels. Um, also, I know I touched on this, but I wanted to just kind of show it here. If you are knocked unconscious, as my partner is here, that does not mean that you've lost the level. You can struggle and drag your partner up the hill as I'm trying to. Now, if we were on solid ground, I could punch him and he would be conscious again. Trust me, I want to. But if I try hard enough, I can drag him up the hill. And even though he was of little help, we still win the level. All right, guys, my final thoughts on Tied Together. There is 40 levels for two-player mode in this game, and 20 levels for three to four-player mode, or as they call it, the party mode. Each level comes with a time trial, and if you can beat these levels fast enough, you can get a gold medal. Or you could be like me and just get a bronze, just like that. My friend and I were able to beat this first time through in about six hours. We basically got bronze on every level, and quite frankly, probably shouldn't have even gotten that sometimes. You might be thinking that uh, six hours does not seem like all that much gameplay. Let me tell you that this game is categorized as a platform puzzler party game, which I really balked at, at party game when I first saw that. I thought, oh, that probably isn't really a party game, but it, it really truly is. So my point being, if you're gonna play this game with the same person uh, over and over, the replayability is gonna be low. But if you're gonna take this to a party, add more people, play with different people, Every time you play this game, you are going to have to learn to communicate with that new person. And that is going to really up the replayability of this game. And even if sometimes you think you have learned every way to beat a level, when you play with somebody new, it's crazy how they will come at a level and find a way to beat it. I've played through this game twice with two different people, and there are multiple levels that I beat multiple different ways because it was just a different mindset. With that said, 
Um, the music is hilarious. The sound effects are great. The, what, what the monsters say and how they groan and growl is absolutely hilarious. You will laugh at something that they, that they growl at or how they, how they talk or the sound effects in the game. Uh, the background music I found very pleasing. And uh, I loved the, the art style, how colorful it was. I thought it was great. Um, on the American eShop, this game will be $15. And I'm just going to tell you, I would pay $15 for this game all day, every day. To have it in my Switch library, take to parties, play with friends. Uh, I find it to be just super fun. So, hey, I hope this has helped you make your decision on Tied Together. This is Nick from Nintendo Dads signing out. See you later. Game over, friends.